Okay, now the chapter on uh, on a simple newsfeed application. So, this is some explanation about what a newsfeed is. You need to read that, including this. Uh, the first task is uh, to install a library. Yeah, we need to go to this uh, this Roam project and locate and download the most stable version of the library available of the Roam project. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's find out uh, where we're at. Here's the latest Rome release 1.0. These are the sources, so I think we'll need that as well. Go ahead and get that. And let's get that too. And um, let's get these. I'll cut both of these and uh, place those in uh, my Java libraries. Actually, this jar file is uh, doesn't need to be in there. This is the source code. So let's go ahead and um, and cut this. And I'm going to drop this in um, the lib folder. Wait a minute. Are we supposed to create a new application? Yeah. No, we don't. So I'm going to paste that in the lib folder. Watch this. There it is, and we're going to uh, add it to the build path. Done. So it, it shows up, the Roam jar file shows up under reference libraries as well as being under the LIB, LIB folder. We've done this, and uh, before we move on, let's go ahead and set the uh, source code for that. Source attachment is an external file. It's um, under Java libraries. There it is. It's done. There's another library that we need called JDOM. And uh, let's get that. This is the room. I can close that. Close that. What's this? All right. Okay. Get rid of that. And uh, let's go ahead and download the binary. This is the latest build, JDOM 1.1. And the one we want is this one right here. Taking a little while to download. Not, not, not too bad, though. And uh, let's get the source code as well. I see that is here. Hmm. Source drops. I think it's here. Maybe it's right inside of there. Let me just double check that. This is the Java library, so we're going to have to put it over there. Let's take a look at this. I'm just going to open that up briefly here. The source code is is in there. 
so that is in fact our um, I'm going to extract this just to the purpose of that is just to get this uh, the jar file which is under the build folder there it is jdom.jar let's cut that or copy it it this doesn't they both result in the same thing and I'm going to paste that in this live folder and um, now we'll go back these are under downloads I'm going to delete this we don't need that anymore see the source code can be in a zip file it's uh, it's convenient just leave it there and drop this in um, drop this in with my uh, my other libraries here that I'm accumulating there it is but we don't need this jar file in there I'm going to take that out okay let's um, now here this this jar file actually contains the source code I can't open that but that's what's in there and um, let's attach a source and let's go ahead and uh, properties oops this is not in the build path yet I'm going to add it to the build path and I'm going to um, attach the source code nope, not external folder, external file not that one, this one, JDOM if I hit apply it actually checks to make sure that it works that's good I'm just going to clear these <laughs> till we need them close that out done with this so add the JDOM jar file to the live folder and add it to the build path we've done that now we need to modify the home servlet and um, basically what we're going to do instead of printing our own uh, message what we're going to do is retrieve a news feed and display that so we have a um, to modify the servlet there's a warning on there print writer is never used we need to take that out we're not using that anymore and uh, I'm going to leave that debug statement right there for now and uh, actually let me go ahead and change it this time I'll take that out I, this is a nice uh, this is quite a nice statement here retrieving the Yahoo news feed there's a lot of classes that are undefined and um, so if we go to source organize imports it'll go through there and ask us to uh, to select what needs to be selected so it's looking for this XML reader I believe it's this one here oh no 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 XML reader where would that be coming from Hmm. This is not oh com syndication io syndication that would be related to news uh, feeds. Let's go ahead and try that. And this URL would be that one there. And there's an error message here. Unhandled exception. Uh, let's go ahead and surround it with a try catch block there we go get the warning is gone up there better check in with the um, so yeah in fact we did select the right one the web pages all can uh, indicate which uh, when there are conflicts or ambiguities which um, which package to use for the given class 
and uh, then we talk about this as being a problem because um, the missing try catch block we just saw how to fix that and um, what we want to do here is um, print the um, we look at the 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 code that was generated automatically for us that uh, when the news feed is not um, properly processed that we throw an exception we print a stack trace here and um, it could either be an illegal argument exception or a feed exception. What are we suggesting to do here? So in both cases we do the same thing. Go ahead and put that in there. So we're going to, rather than calling print stack trace and, and printing to the standard out we're going to print into our log file now we have to modify the JSP actually the JSP is just given here once again I'm skipping over a lot of reading because I'm familiar with it and I, I just want to show you how um, if you're stuck on the process of carrying out the steps that I explain you can watch me do it. And I'm going to replace the entire home servlet with this new one. Here's our new HTML uh, top level element. There's explanation here time to test. Essentially what we're doing is um, we're going to this news feed. We can first check to see if it's even available. Let's go there in the browser just to see that we get something. And there it is. We're getting something. So something is being provided by Yahoo at this URL that is in fact a news feed but it's not um, not formatted for us, so we're recording. So what we've done here is to make some changes. We've added um, some library files. I think we're going to need to uh, to restart the web application. Sometimes just reloading is not good enough. We need to stop and start. But I'm I'm going to go for this. I'm going to try reloading. There's no, no error message up there, means that was good. Here's our home, let's go ahead and... There it is. Now we're displaying a news feed. That's coming from... Um, from Yahoo. Looks interesting. Some interesting things to read. The links uh, work. Let's see what else we need to do. Now we're going to create another project called the Publisher Project. And this Publisher Project will, um, will, will create a newsfeed that the website application consumes. Right now, website is consuming a newsfeed that's provided by Yahoo. We, we will we will uh, publish our own news feed and then also consume it. So we have two at this point we're going to be starting our second web application. So let's go ahead and do that. It's up here. This is our first one. Let's uh, let's do new project. Actually it's a Java project. And the project name is publisher this stuff looks good. I'm going to hit next and once again this 
this folder here we have to modify modify that path and it should look like this this is uh, when the system builds uh, the code that's in this folder it will uh, put the 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 resulting bytecode in this folder so that's the output folder we have to go to libraries we need to add an external jar and uh, servlet API is one of them and uh, let's see if my needing anything else at this point I think that's uh, that's pretty good then we have this uh, deployment descriptor first I'll save this finish and then uh, in the deployment descriptor we need to create that first file once again I don't like that editor I'm going to open with the text editor rather than the XML editor and um, we have a simple simple um, entry for that at this point that will become more complicated later on it's basically the root element with nothing inside that's the opening tag, that's the closing tag these are just a bunch of attributes and um, let's keep going we're going to create a web directory within the web directory we're going to create a file called news.rss with these contents so once again the web directory which is here and we're going to create a file here, news.rss and uh, with the contents provided on the uh, on the web page here so this is a you know a static news feed so this is the first step. In the second step, we will replace this static news feed with a dynamic news feed, which simply means we're going to retrieve the information from a database table or tables, and uh, and those that that data the data in the database is then subject to change. That's what makes it dynamic. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, we need to do this. Um, we need to deploy the application in a manner that's similar to the website application. Let's go ahead and check that. How are we going to do that? Well, in the website we have this file right here. Let's go ahead and look at that. So it, it's a context element. Let's just copy that. Got to close everything and uh, for the publisher we're going to need something like that so new file publisher.xml the name is actually important I believe and uh, I'm going to once again open that text editor paste in the paste in the code from the website application well, of course we're going to have to change it to make it relevant to the publisher application there we go and that looks like it's it so basically we want to be uh, returning this this hello and this by from our um, our publisher application and have the website application uh, present this information to the user uh, one thing we need to do here of course is uh, is to deploy this 
it's called publisher and where is the configuration file that is going to be be here this is website this is the workspace there's the publisher.xml file there's the path sorry it's right here and this should be slash publisher.xml uh, says ok up here that looks great so the publisher application should be should be uh, deployed at this time let me let's check it let's go there there's a file publisher.rss whoops sorry that should be uh, is it news.rss there we go so that's what it looks like now we want the website to retrieve that newsfeed rather than the Yahoo newsfeed so we can do that as follows in the website um, home servlet rather than going out to Yahoo I'll just comment that out we'll go to our local host and the publisher application also that needs to be port 8080 and that's called as we just saw news.rss save that and let's go ahead and reload oh. we're going to need to reload the website we made changes here we go, now we'll reload the home application there it is, this is our news feed let's see what else we might have to do here and that is the end of this uh, chapter